It's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central, and in today's video this morning, I want to discuss part two on how to be a good guild member. That is a good resource for your guild uh, and somebody that your guild wants to keep with, you know, keep keep in the guild because you're actually producing, you're actually performing day to day what they need to help the guild grow collectively. Now, before I get too deep into this video, there is going to be a part three of this video that's going to be more of a standalone on the science behind the dungeon and how to do fun stuff in the dungeon. But this video is going to be more focused on why the dungeon is important. It's going to be a little bit shorter and lighter and easier to watch. So as a quick reminder, part one of the how to be a good guild member was all about getting your activity up. Okay, your total day to day guild activity is based on you know, energy usage and spending, uh, you know, uh, enchanting a glyph and exchanging items just to get certain uh, certain thresholds so that everyone in the guild can get enchantment runes, whether it's great or the other ones on, on mobile, and so that your guild master can get presents to give out. Now, whether or not your guild master actually gives those presents out, that's, a, that's another argument for every guild individually. Some guild masters like to keep these from themselves. I'm not going to, I'm not that kind of guild master, but so that was part one. Part two is all about Titanites. Okay, your contribution today is zero Titanite. Now, I will show uh, on screen the different tiers of acquiring the Titanite, but you can see here that my contribution today is zero, and uh, we have, as a total, we have 2,215 out of 3,000. Now, this, this gauge actually fills up over and over throughout the day. Uh, I believe the first one is 750. Um, there's a second one for two. The third one here is 3,000. I think the second one's actually 1,500. The fourth one's 4,500, and on and on it goes. Now, what happens is uh, you win dungeon battles and collect Titanite to get summoning spheres. Titanite is awarded to all guild members, so you don't actually use this Titanite, right? And if and you know you can you could do these dungeon fights and you earn Titanite and Titan XP potions. I'll show you a little bit more of that in a second. You don't actually do anything with the Titanite. It just goes towards this um, this total where you get the summoning spheres. And once this bar fills up, once this bar fills up, once my guild reaches 3,000 Titanite for the day, everyone in the guild will get three summoning spheres. Now, just as a quick reminder, summoning spheres are those items that you can open up to get Titan Soul Stones. You can get Super Titans, you can get you know regular Titans, um, there is a uh, small chance to get super titans, but you know, whatever, whatever you need to do. And the more soul stones you get, the higher you can evolve your titans. So you can see that my Sigurd here is a four star Sigurd. I have 208 out of 900 soul stones. So I really want to get, as this guy is my main, uh, my main tank on my, on this particular Facebook account, I want as many Sigurd soul stones as I can get. So that means I want as many summoning spheres as I can get, right? And you can see I have zero right now because I haven't really done much today. So let's talk about first Facebook and then we'll talk briefly about mobile because um, while they are similar in, in that you want to collect Titanite for your for your guild, um, how you can how you can do it and just get it done and, and as little time as possible. I, I mentioned I mentioned on the on the activity one, enchanting a single glyph gives you seven hundred right enchanting a single glyph gives you 700 and what that just doing that alone will do for your guild if you do that every day but let's talk about the dungeon so first of all you can see these divination cards this little icon up in here in the, in the top left this isn't here on mobile there is a similar mechanic on mobile and i'll talk about that in just a second when i'm done talking about this but when you click on this you're given the option to claim 150 titanite immediately and 15 divination cards. And this is earned by having Valkyrie's Favor. So Valkyrie's Favor is that, you know, that weekly inexpensive, um, it's $2.49 on, um, let's just go take a look at it. It's $2.49 on Facebook for one week. And on mobile, it is, um, uh, it's it, it's a four ninety nine for two weeks, right? So you buy it weekly on Facebook and web, and you buy it every two weeks on mobile. And Valkyrie's favor not only gives you artifact coins every day, expedition to the city of angels, and faster, you know, faster combat, uh, you know, faster uh, sped up combat, but it also gives you this. 15 divination cards, which I'll talk about in a second, and 150 titanite. This is 150 to your goal. So I just claim this, bam, right? 
and then you see you see here my contribution today is 150. now 150 is a nice magic number okay so if you're on facebook you need to do that at minimum every day just go claim that at minimum every single day click that button click 150 titanite for two reasons one 150 titanite is enough to get you the daily class the daily quest completed so you can see collect 75 titanite complete collect 150 titanite complete so that's easy that's part one now obviously on mobile it's a little different secondly if everyone in your guild if everyone in your guild does just that just 150 and nothing else just that that's 4500 titanite so you have 30 members of your guild 150 times 30 is 4,500, that's good enough to award you the fourth tier of summoning spheres. So that's four, three, two, and one. That's 10 summoning spheres per day for your guild, for everyone in your guild, right? Because you earn one, um, you earn one by earning 750 as a guild, you earn two more, making you a total of three as uh, when you earn 1500 as a guild, you earn three here. You can see whenever you hit 3000 Titanite for the day. And when you hit 4500 Titanite for the day, you earn four. But if you if you just stop there, you know, four plus three plus two plus one is 10. Everyone would get 10 spheres. That's a lot. That is a lot. I mean, that's a, that's a good amount every day. Plus the two or three that you get from completing the daily quest. I mean, that's a lot of summoning souls per day. But don't stop there. Do Do a little bit more. And let's talk about doing just a little bit more now again i want to do a video talking about the dungeon and how the dungeon works and how you know best practices for the dungeon uh in just a second but i wanted to quickly cover two things before we end the video first of all these divination cards these divination cards enables you to instantly complete a dungeon battle and it disappears at the end of each day so you want to use these <clears throat> and you want to have a, a conversation with your guild on the expectation the average expectation of daily contribution for titanite similar to how you wanted to have a conversation with your guild about the daily expectation of activity you wanted it to do you know with titanite so if i click on a battle here I can accept this fate and, and the, the Oracle predicts an easy victory for your warriors in this battle. So I can just accept this and I win. I earn the 25 Titan XP potions and the one Titanite, or I can fight on my own, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and accept this. And here, this is a water Titan fight. Uh, you can see that um, the Oracle predicts an easy victory for your warriors in this battle. You can see that my water Titans will take a little bit of damage. My tank will, but overall I'll gain some energy. So I could either accept this outcome and be done with this fight and move on, or I can fight on my own. Now, typically because I'm lazy uh, and, I, and I have my water team pretty leveled up, I will I'll go ahead and click accept. Now on earth and fire teams, you want to be very mindful on which of these that you choose each day. And I'm not going to explain why in this video. I'll explain why in the next Titan Dungeon video, in the, in the Dungeon 101 video that I'm about to put out. But I'm going to do, I'm just going to do fire. You know, it is it is what it is. And I'm just going to kind of go through this and, and keep on rocking and rolling. Um, however, let's talk about mobile briefly. So mobile does not have divination cards. They don't have the ability to auto-complete these fights. But what they do have, they do have the ability to auto-complete fights that they they finished the previous day. And let me explain briefly what I mean by that. Again, this is a very high level thing, but the dungeon, the dungeon is made up of several floors. And you can see that I, I do, I do five fights and I go down to the next floor and I, you know, I finish, I finish 10 fights in a row and I hit a checkpoint and unlocking that checkpoint lets me start from there uh, tomorrow right however you don't start from where you ended you actually start from the checkpoint so whenever whenever you reach a checkpoint whenever you reach a checkpoint you're actually starting at 10 levels above where you're at now so what you can do on mobile is you auto complete fights up to the point that you finished the day before so usually you can you know complete five or ten fights uh, or you know or whatever however deep you got in there without you know before you accepted a checkpoint be it three or eight or seven. And that is that is what mobile has instead of these divination cards. So any questions about any of that, please let me know in the comment section down below. We do have a incredible video um, planned discussing in depth how to how to win and do well in the dungeon there is a science behind it there is a science behind you know choosing this fight versus that fight uh, that fight and we're gonna we're gonna dive in, we're gonna dive pretty deep into it so um look for that video in the next couple of days i uh, hope you all are enjoying your week i love you all and good luck in dominion